Imagine it's 1809. I'm Nat, I'm your doctor, and you've come to me with what we now know is ovarian cancer. Well, I'm afraid to say it's bad news. I suppose we could try surgery, but it's going to be the first time it's ever been done, and it's going to be painful because anaesthetic hasn't been invented yet. So instead, I've got an idea. Let's get in the time machine. We'll whiz past centuries of medical advancements and get to 2024, when there's got to be something better, right? Well, it's obviously a trick question. If you come to me with low-grade serious ovarian cancer today, I will still do surgery to remove your womb and ovaries. But after that, will the jury still out? Is that actually a problem? Surgery will take away the tumour and we've obviously got anaesthetic now. Well, unfortunately, for low grade serious ovarian cancer, it is a problem. And that's because of what I want you to remember as the four R's of low grade serous. It's resistant to platinum based chemotherapy, which is what we use in other ovarian cancers to stop it coming back after surgery. This makes it recurrent. You all probably know someone who's been through that wait to see a cancer has returned and how terrifying that is. It disproportionately affects people of reproductive age. So for a lot of them, not only do they have cancer, but they then also lose their fertility. And finally, it's quite rare, accounting for only 10% of ovarian cancers. So we don't actually know very much about it. But that doesn't mean it's something we can ignore. 500 patients will be newly diagnosed in the UK every year. And the combination of the four R's means that even those that do survive will have a significantly impacted quality of life. We need to do better. So I'm trying to fix this problem by A, working out how this cancer develops, and B, trying to find new treatments. And I think the answer lies in modelling the disease on a smaller scale in mice. This cancer starts because of specific mutations of DNA that you aren't born with but acquire over the course of your life. And because mice share over 95% of our genetic makeup, I've spent the first year of my PhD introducing identical mutations into their DNA in the hope that we can mimic the development of the tumour. And as a result, we've been able to make a brand new mouse model of low grade serous, which when we look at under the microscope, we can see it accurately represents human disease as close as we can possibly get it. Guys, this really is groundbreaking stuff for low grade serous because it means we can use this model to try out new treatments. And that's really the next step of my PhD. So if, if I can find new combinations of drugs that work better than chemo, then the best part will be getting them into clinical trials and changing the landscape of cancer for good. So actually, with a bit of luck, I suppose a bit of hard work and the support of a lot of brilliant people, it turns out we might not need to go any further forward in the time machine before we finally win this battle. Let's get serious about low-grade serious.